Assalamu alaikum. Brothers and sisters, again, this lecture for Juma is one of the things, not only an obligation to us as believers, but we all desire to please Allah. And with our health and circumstance permitted, we come before you with the name Allah. And in so doing, usually I say a prayer, a little prayer, that Allah guides me in saying what is right, because that's most important. Whenever someone comes before you, be email, teachers and everything, and they're trying to convey a message of truth, a message that will help you and your family, it's important for us to seek the help of Allah and not ever to take anything for granted because when we declare that we are doing this for the sake of Allah, then we ask Allah's guidance through this whole uh, session. And not only this session, throughout our entire life. I recall when Imam Warsi Muhammad was faced with a similar question of why are you the leader? Why do you want to be the leader? What are your goals? And his comment to the believers read at the passing of his father, may Allah's mercy and peace be upon both of us. He said, my purpose is to seek Allah first and last. So, I want to first and foremost thank Allah for the opportunity to come before the listening audience, the believers, brothers and sisters, and anyone who hears to let them know whoever declares that they have a message from the Creator, from Almighty God, we say Allah, then that message, it should be bold enough and clear enough for you to understand. And as I begin, I would like you all to listen carefully to the message that Muslims all around the world get each and every day when they say they pray. So I will recite to you Al Fatiha in the Arabic, and I will explain it in the English. So at this time, you just bear with me, and those who know the prayer, then you bear and ask the Lord to help us through this. So we start off by saying, I seek protection and a law from the cursed devil. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين it did not serve or must have been. Serve or it did not have him. Every month to be It is a prayer that in the Quran and throughout the teaching, it is entitled Al-Fatiha. And translating Al-Fatiha into English is a tap. So what came out as best, it says it's like an opening. Just like if you want to go out that door, you have to open it. And Knowing that something is the opening is not the end of it. Because when you open the door, your intent is to go 
through the door and see whatever that destiny lies ahead of us. So El Fatiha being the opening, it's, it has a lot of meaning. One spiritual meaning, the opening to our religion, the opening to our understanding, and most important to us as we learn is the opening to obedience to Allah. Because when you hear the translation of Al Fatiha, hopefully you have a better appreciation for that one beginning prayer. It starts off with the name Allah, most gracious, most merciful. And that is to get the believer, all humanity, to realize that it is Almighty God Allah that is most gracious, most merciful. When we give gifts and things, we have a limitation. It could be our money, it could be our spirit, it could be our different attitudes. But when Allah gives us something, there's no limit to how he can affect each one of us and differently. So in here, we start off with knowing that this is something that's far greater than we as human beings can grasp in just the same. The next verse reminds us of the power and the blessing of Allah, which says, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, meaning, praise be to Allah, the cherisher and sustainer of all the world.